When it comes to marketing your products, you might try out strategies like advertising, content marketing, social media marketing, and so on. A large part of your effort is devoted to making your product pages rank organically in Google search engine results pages. What if you could show your product image and related information in the Google search results? This could increase your chances of conversion when users find the exact product or variation they are looking. This is possible with Google Shopping. To do this, first, you need to submit a product feed to Google Merchant Center. You can then make use of your Google AdWords account to place bids for the Google Shopping ads. If you are running a WooCommerce store and need to generate a product feed, we have an ideal plugin to help you with this job. In this video, we will see how to generate a WooCommerce Google product feed with Elix WooCommerce Google product feed plugin. Once you have installed and activated the plugin, click on the settings link of the plugin. You can also find the plugin settings listed in the WordPress left sidebar menu, as Elix product feed. Move to the create feed tab to get started. You need to configure a few generic settings. First, you need to enter a project name. The product feed file will be created with this name. You can give unique names to identify each product feed. Next, select the country where you want to target the ads. This may not be purposely your residing country, but the country where you have targeted customers. If you have variations of products and want them to appear in the search results, you can tick the Include Variations checkbox for this. Enabling this setting will result in your product variations to appear in the search result, when a user is searching for a specific variation of your product. In the next setting, you can choose the file format for creating the product feed. For now, the plugin supports only XML format, which is the most preferred format when it comes to product feeds. However, we plan to include more file formats in the future. The next setting is to schedule cron job to automate refreshing of the product feed file. If you have updated product information on your store, the feed needs to be updated too. This gives users updated information on your products. Hence, you can schedule feed refresh daily at a specific time, weekly or monthly at a specific time. The day of the creation of the product feed file is automatically taken into consideration for weekly and monthly options. Once all the settings are configured, click save and continue. In the next step, you need to map at least one of Google's product category with one of your WooCommerce product categories. If you want to map child categories, tick respective check boxes. You can choose to add and map more categories based on your requirement. This mapping is mandatory and necessary, as Google largely takes product categories into consideration for product categorization. After you are done mapping the categories, save the settings and continue with the next step. In the next step, as the title suggests, you need to map Google attributes with your WooCommerce product attributes. These are the mandatory attributes, which may differ based on the targeted country you've selected in the generic settings. You can map the Google attributes with your attributes by selecting the required option from the drop-down list. The drop-down list also contains custom attributes from other plugins that you've installed. If you do not find relevant attribute from your WooCommerce settings to map, you can create a new attribute by clicking the respective edit icon and providing desired attribute name. If you do not find any desired attribute field that you want to map, you can scroll down and click on add field, to add an optional field and map them accordingly. Once you mapped your attributes, click save and continue. In the exclusion step, you can choose to exclude some products from your selection, that you do not want to include in the product feed. You need to enter desired product IDs to skip them. You can skip the product exclusions, as this is an optional setting. Finally, click on Generate Feed button to start generating your product feed. In the Manage Feed tab, 
you can find all the product feeds that you have generated. You can see the project name, URL where the file is stored, and handy operations to manage it. You can edit, copy, delete, perform a quick refresh, download, or view the XML file. Once the XML file is generated, you are now ready to submit it to Google Merchant Center. You need to sign up for a Google Merchant Center account. Google has enough documentation to help you with the registration process. Once you have your account ready, follow the steps explained in our product documentation to submit the XML to Google Merchant Center. We have explained the process in detail, step by step. After you have submitted your XML file successfully, Google will automatically accept your product feed and shows them in its search result pages. In this way, you can generate a WooCommerce Google product feed. If you don't have our Elix WooCommerce Google product feed plugin, get it today at elextensions.com. Follow the links given in the video description. For any further queries, contact us at our online support today. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel, for more informative videos related to WordPress and WooCommerce plugins.